Hi there. In this video, we are going to explore a convenient way for migrating your Postman data directly into API Doc, a tool designed to enhance your API development journey. I will walk you through the whole process step by step, demonstrating how to export your Postman data, including collections, environments, and global variables. Then, seamlessly import them into API Doc. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, to export your Postman collections, in Postman, head over to the Collection tab in your workspace. Then, find the collection you want to export and click the three dot next to it. Next, select Export. Then, select Collection version 2.1 and click Export. Then, save it to download your collection as a JSON file. Next, let's export the environment. In the same sidebar, switch over to the Environment tab. Find the environment you want to export and click on this three dots once again. Next, select export and save it in your local computer to download it as a JSON file. Similarly, from the same environments tab, click on globals, then select export from the workbench to export your global variables. All right, with your Postman data exported, let's switch over to API doc and import them here. In API Doc, head over to your project settings, then select import data and choose Postman. Now you can either drop file here or select file or folder to import from your computer. Please note that currently API Doc supports importing one Postman collection at a time along with multiple environments and global variables. Because at API Doc, we treat each Postman collection as a separate project. No worries though, you can repeat this process to import all of your collection. Okay, let's drag and drop the Postman data into API Doc. Just drop the file here and you will see that API Doc automatically detected the collection, environment variables and global variables. Press OK to continue. Now here, you can choose the root folder or simply create a new folder like Postman. Press OK and then press Confirm to continue. You will get an overview of the APIs that have been imported along with the environment variables. Congratulations! With that, you have completed the Postman data import into API Doc. All right, now that you have brought your Postman data into API Doc, let's explore some of the things that make API Doc unique and how it can take your API development experience to the next level. We will cover some of the best practices and key differences to keep in mind as you transition from Postman to API Doc. First up, request versus API. In Postman, you can send series of requests, then group this request in a collection. But in API Doc, when you import a collection, each request will become a success API case under each single API. Now, each API can have multiple sets of parameters. You can save them as multiple API case under this API. This practice makes debugging easier and allows you to easily reference API cases in testing scenario during automated testing. Plus, unlike Postman, where requests might be scattered across collection, API doc keep things organized. Now, if you want to run a bunch of APIs together, please head over to API docs testing module and create a new test scenario. Just give it a name and press continue. In this test scenario, now from this add step option, you can import from APIs or from API cases. Just click on here, then select the API cases that you like to add. Now you can run them all at once. This makes maintaining your tests super convenient. API doc is designed this way because our API might change and API doc lets you sync those updates with a single click without having to modify them one by one. Next, let's discuss environment variables versus services. In Postman, it's a common practice to include a base URL in front of the API URL to control which environment the request is sent to. But this can get messy. Firstly, this makes the request URL different from the URL defined in the API documentation. And it will mix with other variables making maintenance tricky. API Doc offers a cleaner way to handle this. Firstly, each API URL stays simple and clear, just like the API documentation, starting with a slash. 
and we can manage the base url in the separate section called services in the environment think of it as a central hub for all of your base urls secondly if you are using a microservices architecture for example maybe the order service and the user service are on different servers ABA doc lets you set this up as a separate service within the environment. After everything is set up, you can go back and choose the services from here. Now, if I switch the environment, all the requests will be sent directly to the corresponding environment, which is very convenient. Lastly, scripting versus pre and post processes operation. ABA doc simplifies the pre and post processes operation, transforming the way you handle scripts. After importing your data from Postman, you will find your pre and post processes operation in the success API case here. Unlike Postman, where you need to write scripts to perform pre and post processes operation, here in API doc, most of the pre and post processors operation can be configured visually without scripting. You can simply use Postman code snippets from this custom script option. You can also reference the commonly used scripts that you have saved in your public scripts. Not only that, you can also see API doc supports visual assertion. Just fill in few parameters here like target objects, JSON path, expression, etc. and it can complete an assertion. You can also extract a variable where you can take a response value from this API and extract it as an environment variable, which can be used in later steps. Not only that, you can perform powerful operations like databases operation. Here in API doc, we support MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, PostgreSQL, ClickHouse, MongoDB, and Redis. You can simply select a database connection of your choice, then directly execute an SQL command. SQL command also supports the use of variables. You can extract the data queried by the SQL commands into a variable. In the subsequent steps, you can use it as a parameter or as a base of an assertion. Also, the ability to use the query results as a request parameter adds a powerful layer of functionality that Postman doesn't support. Okay, that's how you migrate from Postman to API doc. Now you can experience more streamlined and powerful ways to manage your APIs. Head over to api.com to get started and take your API development to the next level. Happy testing. I wish you have great time using API Talk.